Hidden away in the Yorkshire Dales village of Ingleton is a cafe. Famous worldwide for its inexpensive food and gourmet menu, this is no ordinary cafe. The proprietor prides himself on his hospitality and prompt service. And prompt service. And if prompt service isn't enough for your humble gaver, a full range of caving equipment is available at a price to rival other local traders. Caving advice is always on hand with an answer to almost any question and breakfast is available all day long. Good job really. The Jigsaw Pot Browgill Cave System was first entered in 1898 and since then several undiscovered passages and chambers have been found by Derbyshire cavers culminating in the discovery of Pearl Chamber by Andy Shaw and Buster Wright in 1994. On this trip Mary Wilde and Kim Wright aim to traverse the system entering Jigsaw Pot and returning to daylight two kilometres away after descending to a depth of 75 metres and coming out via Browgill Cave. They plan to view the cave pearl formations in Pearl Chamber. The exact location of this newly discovered section of cave has deliberately been obscured to prolong the existence of these delicate formations. Unfortunately, water, not beer, is the source of all caves. And as they descend jigsaw pot, the stream keeps them company all the while scouring the cave and thereby enlarging the passage as it has continuously done for thousands of years. Exploring caves which still contain active streams can be hazardous. A 50 metre stretch of this passage is dangerously prone to flash flooding and in the summer months when the surface soil is very dry a phenomenon known as runoff, where a heavy shower just disappears down the nearest cave, can occur without warning to those already underground. Reliable weather forecasts must be obtained and personal judgment exercised. Meaning, don't be a prat and insist that you must go caving just because you've travelled 150 miles and the locals are rowing up the main road in boat. Take the Dunstable Caving Club's advice and stay in the pub. Like beer, water will always follow the lowest course and as they follow the stream they climb down several small cascades before they reach a larger one called Idiot's Leap where a fixed rope is in place to stop idiots leaping no doubt. The two cavers have come from the entrance to Idiot's Leap at some one, a high level bypass takes them to the first 9 metre pitch down into Boss Chamber. They then follow a stream along zigzag passage to the end where they enter Pearl Chamber. Kim and Mary leave the stream to enter a high level bypass which leads to the head of the 9 metre pitch into Boss Chamber. Eventually they will return to the streamway. Rapidly advancing techniques and technology have spawned a new breed of caver who has a passion for lots of pretty coloured alloy gizmos and hasn't got the skill and confidence to hang his or her life on a rope any less than half an inch thick. To express to a non-caver just why we feel justified in taking risks, however calculated they may be, is a virtual impossibility. The rush of sheer adrenaline as you swing out over the 75 metre drop in your tight sexy rubber suit 
The weird and fantastic formations to be found in the remotest corners of the most popular caves. The explorer's fever on finding new cave and the comradeship of trusted friends all accounts for something. But in Hall, the sport of caving is much more than the sum of all this. Plus, you can always play in the mud, which is strangely satisfying. A personal philosophy shared by many is that in this ever-degenerating society in which we're, we live, where everything can be bought and little value can be claimed for any achievement, it is a way of earning experiences which do have a lasting value, as they have been bought with the currency of personal hardship and discomfort freely given, or maybe the subsequent embellishment of the hard fights after a few bevies in the pub at the end of the day is what it's really all about. Our cavers have rejoined the stream and soon discovered a passage leading to Pearl Chamber. Formations such as stalactites, stalagmites and hillictites are often found, but very occasionally something out of the ordinary is discovered. Cave pearls are formed in a similar way to oyster pearls, with a hard nucleus, in this case a fragment of rock or mineral, being slowly encased in a calcite coating. The pearls seen here vary in size from that of a large juicy hemorrhoid to a pinhead. Found individually in small depressions on the cave floor, or in large clusters clinging to the walls, they give an overwhelming sense of a hard but fragile beauty. It's almost a sacrilege to enter a place such as this, where for untold years the only sound has been the quiet drip of cool water onto the growing pearls below. On their return from Pearl Chamber, they go back to the streamway along Wetway Passage to the second 7 metre waterfall pitch at the top of Glory Hall Chamber. They then abseil down to meet the main stream of the Master Cave from where they exit at the lower entrance of Browgill. Thank you. 